Now here in this video, we are going to see how we can change a owner or a group of a file. Now for example, I'm working on a particular project and I have done with my task. Now I want to hand over this project to someone else. So as being an owner of that particular directory or a file of my project, I am the owner. I have the full access. Now I have to change the owner so that the other person to whom I have handed over the project should get the full access. So for that, I need to change the owner. So how we are going to do that we are going to see here. Along with that, I can also take an example. Now I am working on a project, but my group members are changed. So previously I had 15 members into group. So I have already added those members into my group. Now if I want to add some other members, in spite of modifying the existing group members, I can also change the group for a temporary reason. So that also I can do by using the group change. So how we are going to change the owner and group that we are going to see here. I can use the command called as chown, called as change owner. I can use for changing the owner of a file or a directory. The command I can use in such a way chown and the new owner name for the file or directory which we are going to add here. Same way we can also change the group by giving command chgrp. This chgrp we can use for existing group we can change with the new group or for a file or directory. The command which we can use is chgrp the new group name and then file or a directory. This group can be a owner group or it can be a supplementary group. We can change our owner's group by any way, either for the supplementary or the group name. And one more thing, this commands can only be used or performed by the root user or the user who is having the rights by, given by the root user. So a standard user cannot change the group or standard users cannot change the owner. For that, you need to contact your administrator. So let us check in the terminal how we can use the chgrp and chown commands for changing the owner and group of the user or directory. Now in the previous video we have seen how we can add a user into a group. Now here in the previous video also I have created a directory with name root share and uh, I was the owner that is the root was the owner for this particular directory while others were the member of it. Now I already have done with this particular directory now I want to change the owner of this particular directory so that he should have the full control. I want to make the trainer a full control permission for this directory and I want to hand over this particular directory completely to my trainer. What I can do is I can change the owner and this owner can be changed only by the root even though the directory is created by any other user as well. So change owner or the new owner I want for this directory that is trainer for which directory that is your root share. You can check once you have given the command and press and uh, list long the file you can see now the owner of this directory is trainer. So ultimately what will happen the owner will get the full control. So let us check whether we have the full control or not. So this is trainer has locked in. Now trainer wants to move into the root share. He is able to he is able to list the directories. He is able to create the directories as well, right? Because we are uh, now this particular directory has the permission and the, we have changed the owner of this directory. Same way I can also change the group of the directory now. We have already created a directory using the root. So root had the uh, permission only for trainers and users. Now I want to change the group as well. I want that uh, as the owner is the root. So the root should have, sorry, the, as the owner is the trainer now. So the trainer should manage the group. So I'll be adding the trainers group over here and I'll remove my group. So for that I'll give chgrp the new name of the group that is trainer. Even we can add the supplementary group, but for supplementary group, again, you need to add the users who can get access to this particular group. Okay, so who are the members of this group? You need to add it manually. Now here I'm going to add the share name and check here. The group has been changed, right? So the user one is a member of this root share now. 
so how we'll get to know which is my uh, group member we can check into the group and also we can use I want to just search for trainer okay so trainer has a group member user one so if I'm getting login from the user one okay and user one again uh, move into the root share he will be able to list the things but if he's trying to write anything he won't be because again we have the permission for your root share as read and execute for the group members if this user is not a group member it will directly get the access denied permission so this is how generally we manage the owners group and the you know uh, we can change the group or uh, change the owner of a particular directory or a file by using the chmod and chgrp commands using the root so in the next video i'm going to show you more permissions which we can assign for an individual user in spite of looking the groups and the permissions what we have allocated to that particular file so let us check into the next video